Zorin OS versus Linux Mint Ultimate Showdown. Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a comparison between two popular Linux distributions, Zorin OS and Linux Mint. Both of these distros are known for their user friendliness and are often recommended for people making the switch from Windows. But which one comes out on top? In the blue corner, we have Zorin OS, a sleek and modern distro designed to feel familiar to Windows users. And in the red corner, the venerable Linux Mint, a stable and reliable distro with a focus on ease of use and a classic desktop experience. Over the next few minutes, Minutes, we'll be putting these two operating systems through their paces. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which distro is right for you. So buckle up, grab your favorite beverage, and let's get started. All right, first up, uh, let's talk about Zorin OS. Now, if you're coming from a Windows environment, Zorin OS is going to feel incredibly familiar. I mean, we're talking scarily familiar. They've got a desktop layout that's basically a carbon copy of Windows with a taskbar, a start menu, and even window controls in the same spot. But don't let that fool you. Under the hood, it's all Linux, baby. Zorin OS is based on Ubuntu, which means you're getting access to a massive library of software and a rock-solid foundation. And speaking of software, Zorin OS comes bundled with a pretty sweet suite of applications right out of the box. You've got Firefox for browsing the web, LibreOffice for all your productivity needs, and even some light gaming options like Steam pre-installed. They really try to make it a seamless transition for Windows users. One of the things I really dig about Zorin OS is their Zorin Appearance app. This little gem lets you customize the look and feel of your desktop to an insane degree. You can switch between different desktop layouts, like a Windows-style layout, a Mac OS-like layout, or even a more traditional GNOME layout. Plus, you can tweak the heck out of the themes, icons, and even the fonts. It's pretty awesome. Now, in terms of performance, Zorin OS is no slouch. It's actually surprisingly lightweight, even on older hardware. They have different versions available, including a light version that's specifically designed for low-spec machines. So, if you're rocking an old laptop that's struggling to run Windows, Zorin OS could breathe new life into it. Overall, Zorin OS is a fantastic option for anyone new to the Linux world, especially those coming from Windows. It's user-friendly, it's customizable, and it performs like a champ. Next up, we've got Linux Mint, a distro that needs no introduction. Mint has been a fan favorite for years and for good reason. It's known for its stability, its performance, and its dedication to providing a classic desktop experience. One of the things that sets Linux Mint apart is its choice of desktop environments. Now, if you're not familiar, a desktop environment is basically the interface you interact with. It dictates how your windows look, how your menus work, all that jazz. Linux Mint offers three main desktop environments, Cinnamon Mate and XFC. Cinnamon is their flagship environment. It's modern, it's elegant, and it's super customizable. Mate is a bit more lightweight and traditional, perfect for older hardware or folks who prefer a more old-school vibe. And then there's XFCE, which is all about speed and efficiency. It's bare bones, but in a good way, you know, no bloat, just pure performance. Linux Mint also gets major points for its software management. They have this awesome tool called the Software Manager, which makes finding, installing, and removing applications an absolute breeze. It's like an app store for your Linux system, and it's way more user-friendly than using the command line. Now let's talk customization. Linux Mint might not have the fancy Zorin appearance app, but don't let that fool you. You can still tweak this thing to your heart's content. They've got themes, they've got icons. You can even install custom conky setups if you're feeling adventurous. And the best part, all of this customization doesn't come at the cost of stability. Linux Mint is rock solid. I'm talking runs for months without a reboot kind of stable. So if you're looking for a distro that just works, Mint is definitely worth checking out. At the end of the day, Linux Mint is an excellent choice for both new and experienced Linux users. It's stable, it's customizable, and it offers a fantastic user experience regardless of your hardware or your technical expertise. So, there you have it, folks. Zorin OS versus Linux Mint. Both incredible distros with their own unique strengths. Zorin OS is perfect for beginners who want that familiar Windows feel while still dipping their toes into the world of Linux. Its performance and ease of use are truly commendable. On the other hand, Linux Mint shines with its stability, customization options, and choice of desktop environments. It caters to both newbies and seasoned Linux veterans alike. Ultimately, the best distro for you boils down to your individual needs and preferences. So, which one will you choose? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech comparisons and reviews. See you next time.